In the world of quality management, understanding the costs of nonconformance is crucial for organizations aiming to maintain high standards. For Certified Management Accountant, CMA, Part 1 candidates, grasping this concept is vital as it ties directly into cost management and operational efficiency. What are costs of nonconformance? Costs of nonconformance refer to the costs associated with products or services that fail to meet quality standards. These are costs that the organization incurs when it fails to achieve conformance to its quality requirements. Simply put, it's the cost of not doing things right the first time. Conk is typically divided into two categories. Internal failure costs, scrap, materials or products that are discarded because they do not meet quality standards. Rework, costs associated with correcting defects in products or services before they reach the customer. Downtime, lost production time due to quality problems that require stopping production lines. External failure costs, warranty claims, Costs incurred when defective products are returned by customers and need to be replaced or repaired. Returns and allowances. Costs associated with handling and processing returned goods. Loss of reputation. The long-term financial impact of customer dissatisfaction due to poor quality. Why are costs of non-conformance important? For a certified management accountant, understanding CONCI is vital for several reasons. Financial impact. Non-conformance can lead to significant financial losses. High cont can erode profit margins and reduce the overall competitiveness of a business. Customer satisfaction. When products fail to meet quality standards, customer trust is damaged. This can lead to lost sales, negative reviews, and a tarnished brand reputation. Operational efficiency. Identifying and reducing con C can streamline operations, reduce waste, and improve the overall efficiency of the production process. How to minimize costs of non-conformance organizations can take several steps to minimize con C. Implementing quality control systems. Regular inspections and quality checks can help catch defects early, reducing the need for rework and scrap. Investing in employee training. Ensuring that employees are well-trained and understand quality standards can prevent errors from occurring. Continuous improvement. Adopting a culture of continuous improvement, such as using methodologies like Six Sigma or Total Quality Management, TQM, can help reduce conks over time. Conclusion for CMA. Part 1 candidates, mastering the concept of costs of nonconformance is not just about passing an exam, it's about understanding the critical impact that quality management has on a business's financial health and long-term success. By focusing on reducing con C, organizations can improve product quality, enhance customer satisfaction, and ultimately increase profitability.